All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to Jason. This is definitely one of my favorite games this year as well. Uh, you guys know that I absolutely love playing some of the most amazing games out there, and man, Jason here is just super, super special. Now, in the previous, of course, episode, we started up from all the way at the bottom over there, made our way to this level, and from here, I think we are about to keep on climbing somewhere up top there, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let me see what my little guy is gonna say if I use them. Yep, my little guy is saying that we gotta go all the way up there. Uh, he's not really pointing me to any secrets just yet. So uh, we're definitely going to have to explore here a little bit. Try to figure out what is happening. And, uh... <laughs> Why am I interacting with it? I was trying to go this way. Uh, and uh, see what else is going to happen here. Now, let me see if there are any notes. Ooh, there are notes. I knew it. This is an adventure, right? I mean, fine, we've only just gotten started. We still haven't strayed off the, the beaten path, but for me, this is huge. I can't swipe the small of my face. I think I needed this. To feel the rocks under my hands, to experience something out of the ordinary, to move. I'm getting to know my companions better, though our chit chat mainly revolves around which route to take to join the expedition. Maddie and Sol are already getting along like a house uh, like a house on fire. They can probably hear us laughing all the way down to the Sol plane. By embarking on this journey, Sol wants uh, to try to return to the world of yesterday, and Mary wants to save the world of tomorrow. As for me, if I can just make it to the meeting point alive, I'll be happy. I never dared leave home before now. Well, leave for real without my parents. But I dreamed about it. Having incredible adventures, finding a new port to call home, anywhere but low tide. I never really felt like I belonged there. Maybe I didn't try hard enough, spend too much time dreaming of uh, far off places, but what is there for me back in low time? Apart from empty houses and questions without answers, it was high time to give something else a try. For me and Mary, climbing is usually something we do when we have no other choice. To say we hesitate each time we have to la uh, launch ourselves into the open air with only our rope securing us is an understatement, but we encourage and belay each other. For Sol, it's a different story. He sits around with incredible ease. He tells us about how he used to climb as a kid uh, to gather seaweed with his parents. That was before Jusson, another era. Since then, he's seen the drought slowly transform the tower into a desert. So remind me of the sailors from the stories you sometimes kinda hear. The ones who can't get used to the inertia of the tower after spending their entire lives on the waves. Sol himself is definitely uh, ungainly when it uh, comes to walking, which terrifies us as a kid. But when he climbs, he's as nimble as a sour I try to carve. I love it that we keep on finding all these notes, man. It's just uh, making the adventure here feel so much better. How are these things making bubbles? If these things are making bubbles, that means there has to be some water somewhere inside the mountain. Right? At least I think so. By using Rai, your companion will be able to see the next objective. Okay, hold up. He might actually discover some secrets this way. Oh. Huh. No, but I'm definitely going to take that path for sure. Uh, this is a zipline that's going to take me to the other side, which I don't want to take just yet. Because I want to see if I can spot some more secrets around here. And of course, the first thing I'm going to try to spot is going to be through uh, the mountain here. Probably another fresco. Hopefully. Or maybe some letters or something. Ooh, some stones. I wonder what made that hole, though. Haven't found any frescoes or any notes in here. So, um, I guess we're gonna keep on going. And the way these things just pop out of the ground, I love it. Alright, well I guess uh, there's no turning back. That thing goes back? Seriously? Interesting. There's definitely no way I'm climbing down there. Look at these birds! They look awesome.
All right, this path is all broken down, so I guess I gotta keep on climbing through here. Oh, hold up. This is gonna be a big jump. No, why didn't that work? What? There we go. I think I can also go on the right side, if I'm not mistaken. Um... Hold up. I cannot go through here. Yeah, it doesn't look like you can go through there. I'm getting very, very tired here, so uh, hold up. Let me rest up a little bit. Because I'm not going to regain my energy anytime soon. Oh, God. Stamina drops quickly when the sun is out. What? Oh, I didn't know that. We gotta move fast then. Come on, 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 come on. Almost there. Oof, there we go. Okay, so apparently the sun is gonna have a little bit of a uh, danger effect to us. Man, but I'm loving her glasses though. I mean, look at this. She looks so cool with those glasses on. Alright, um, I guess we gotta keep on going through here. Roots will wilt in the sun and disappear after a set amount of time. Oh, what? Seriously? No, they are melting away. Wow. Okay, well, that is unexpected. Uh, hold up. Rest up a little bit here. Gotta do a little bit of a jump. And we gotta move fast because the sun is absolutely killing me right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We gotta hurry. Oh, no, 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 no. Almost messed up. What are you doing? Oh, thank God. Uh, let me use my little guide to see if I can spot a secret or anything around here. Okay, okay, okay. So he is identifying one of the collectibles for me. That is perfect. Um, we are going to be able to climb up here. But I also want to make it there, somehow. So I guess we're going to start this way first. Let's see where this takes us to. I feel like there's going to be a main path. Let me go through here first. Let me see if I can find some secrets on this side. Okay, we got some notes. We did it. I completely wrung out, but we made it in the time to join the expedition. Uh, there were many of us there, barely a handful. Look how picky the poor thing is. She's shaking like a sewing machine. I felt so far from home, but the tone was more encouraging than mocking. My efforts has been acknowledged and appreciated. I was too out of breath to reply, but a new emotion rose up inside me. I was proud, proud to have made it this far. Still double over from the exertion, I looked around at the others. Everyone here had left everything behind to be here. They had a fire in their eyes, a desire to change things, and I was part of it. That's all it took to fill me with fresh energy. Arla and Becca welcomed us to their sun scorched farm with, uh, with open arms. They were emotional and the mood was solemn. They're the last farmers left in these parts and they're the ones who put together this expedition. They spend their entire lives trying and failing to fight the drought. Nothing grows on the cliffs anymore. In their own funny sounding words, not one measly plant grows in these fields no more. I hope I'm not producing the high field elect too badly. Then Becca told us about their wild scheme, setting off for the clouds to find water in the sky. At her words, a murmur rose up from the ground. There was talk of how feasible the plan was, how best to go about it, which routes to take and which sections to avoid. Arlo and Becca wants to find the ballasts, and if I'm not mistaken, the ballast is actually the creature that I have on my back. As they're called lower down, enormous creatures made of water that are said to live in the clouds. Ballast only exists in sleep stories for children. Well, that's what I always thought before embarking on this adventure. They're Arlo and Becca's last hope, and I'm starting to believe in them too. We may have a chance to save the tower. It's up to us to seize it. Huh. You know, loving these little creatures just going in there, <laughs> in their pens there. 
But this place is super dark and I found another note. Is moving really the solution? It makes no sense to be leaving the tower. Like the drought's going to fix itself while we're gone. Leaving our parents' fields empty to crowd around the watering hole right in the middle of the Great Plain? <sighs> what then? When your oasis dries up, will we go then? I don't think this is how we're going to solve the problem. There are other options if you ask me. What do you say about ballasts? They're carved into the walls wherever you look. Gab's even seen some in the old paintings. There's talk of them here, that's for sure. Plenty of folk even say that the ballasts that the ballast are the ones who stole our water. We should make sure that, we, shouldn't we? Uh, we should go up to the clouds to find out. It might be a solution in those parts. Might not be. But there sure ain't none down here in the plains. That's all I'm saying. Come on, Arlo, you can be serious. Cloud giants? Really? Those are nothing but a bunch of tails. Common sense tells us to go with the flow, and the flow is going downwards. We've been assigned the spring. Yes, it's in the middle of the plain, but it's our last hope, our future. It would be nice if your folk here could see that. Hmm. Now, if I go for the letters, you guys can see that we got every single one of them for Biaka and the letters themselves as well. Not sure why these ones are a little bit different. Maybe it's because of the different chapter we are in, right? These are kind of like resembling the chapter. These are from the first chapter, the one with the fishies. Same with uh, Bianca's letters. Or more like uh, Bianca's logbooks. Alright, well in that case, I think what I gotta do is, first of all, this. Oh my god, they're drying up, they're drying up. <laughs> Alright, thankfully, we have the possibility of doing that, right? Uh, from here, I believe... Gotta go down. And I gotta get some speed here, and that's what I gotta do. Okay, come on, come on, climb up. There we go. Okay, that's more like it. Um, First of all, let me activate another one of these stone finger jigs. Oh, this is awesome. I wish there was some sort of a uh, photo mode in the game, to be honest. Just because this game is superb. Alright, um... Are these also gonna dry up, I wonder? I don't know. Let's find out. Does look like they are gonna dry up, so... Yeah... Okay, I think I gotta go maybe this way. Oh god, I'm glitching out. Um, okay, let me drop down. Carol was going through the wall a little bit there. Mm -hmm. Oh, we can activate that. Never mind. Okay, but the thing is, we gotta hurry. Because these are gonna dry up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Actually, those ones were in the shade, that's why they were not drying up. Never mind. Ah, oh, that was cool. Hold up, hold up. I gotta rest up a little bit. There we go. Hold to attach. Ah, I'm getting the other pieces of the rope and I'm attaching them here. That is so cool. Alright, that's good. Uh, from this point... Hmm, thankfully, we can drop down. Okay. I don't think there was anything back there that I could have explored, is it? I don't think so, no. Alright, we made it. Perfect. Now, from here, it definitely looks like I'm going to be able to climb up. Um, Aha. Uh -huh. There are some collectibles straight up ahead through here.
There's so many creatures around these parts. Alright, and of course we have a Frisco. Of course we do. And also another path that we can take through here. Uh, hold up, give me a second here. I think if I'm not mistaken, there might have been a little bit more on this side, and I do not want to miss anything, as you guys know. My character doesn't really want to go down. Um, let me connect to that then. Activate that. go. This used to be such a special little place. Yeah, and this part was blocked out. That's why we couldn't really go through here. Uh, I was just hoping to come down here just to get me kind of like a note or something. But, um... It doesn't look like there's any note or anything. So I guess I can easily just climb up through here now back up again. Hmm. How didn't I find a note down there, though? It's kind of weird. Anyway, let's keep going. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to make my way all the way at the bottom. And the reason I want to do that is because I really... Oh, I'm also noticing that there is a plant up there that I can activate. I want to go for the fresco. Just give me a second here. Before I go for the fresco. Ah, look at this. Again, this used to be kind of like a pool. Man, this place... This place was actually superb. When water was flowing through the mountain. Imagine we're actually going to be able to see that. How the place looked. That would be so good. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be the main path we're going to have to take eventually. Right? Or maybe not. Maybe I just got to come here for the notes. That I'm not finding. Yeah, because it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to go to that side. This place, though, so beautiful. Alright, this one seems to be like a path to take me all the way up there. And then around like that. But why do I have to go around like that when I can easily not walk through there? I get it now. <laughs> Never mind. So yeah, you basically have to go through here. All around. Hold to grip. What? <laughs> no way. <laughs> Man, they're so strong. Are you kidding me? How are they so strong that allow me to climb up on top of them? Oh, that was so awesome. <laughs> I was like, what the heck is that? What is happening here? Uh, let me add one of these. Okay. Hold on. What are you doing? Uh, go lower. There we go. Don't worry. We got it. There we go. And here, we can do that so that this one can go that way and can go back and forth. Now, I believe that is going to be the main path that I'm going to have to take eventually. I am going to go back for the fresco before we can carry on here. There's so many people climbing down from the heights. I feel like a fish swimming upstream, like in the stories. Before the Jason, we rose and fell with the tide. I remember hearing the old schooners describe enormous waves, ones that dove people upwards each high tide. They've never seen the ocean themselves. They were just repeating what they've uh, heard from their elders uh, when they themselves were young. 
but there must have been a grain of truth to those stories, right? The ocean nourishes the cliffs, and in return, the cliffs nourishes the entire tower. Anyway, the inhabitants of low tide set enough store in them to, uh, to set off in search of the ocean. I wonder too, should we try to hook the lost water? In a way, yeah, but not by going with the flow. I have the answer now. Thanks to Arlo and Becca, we need to go back to the source. We shared our shady spot with a man named Zoe. He was on his way down to the plane and tried to convince us to go with him. Why stay? He didn't stay why we wouldn't go. You won't get nothing out of these fields no more. The earth ain't worth a blessing thing. He grazed a fistful of dust and held it up as proof. Zoi continued on his way while we prolonged our break, dreadling having to go back into the other blazing sun. I refuse to believe him. Ever since we set off, I feel like I've rediscovered the tower, like I've never truly looked at it uh, or listened to it before. My perspective changing the higher we go up. I'm sure we're going to the right track. Um... I hope you are. Now, as I was saying, I'm 100% sure that is the main path. So what I'm gonna do, let me just go ahead and get me the um, Resco first. And then I'm gonna keep on going through here. Let me actually drop down. Yeah, much easier like that. There we go. And as I was saying, I guess this also works. They were really struggling here to try to pull some water, but the tower was not giving any more water, unfortunately. Oh, wait, we gotta get closer. Come on, little guy. There we go. Uh, gallery, and we got this fresco next. Rain, rain to grow the grain. Breathe life into my fields again. For all of us that live, I beg you, please, life give. One thing that I haven't found in a long time uh, has definitely been one of those shells. So hopefully we are gonna be able to get our hands on it soon enough. Um, there we go. And now we can actually take the shortcut path, which is going to be right through here. Perfect. Uh, before I'm going to move on to the next side. Uh... Oh. I'm missing something down there. Oh, I think it was a shell, dude, and I just did not notice it. Yeah, it's probably a shell down there somewhere. How did I miss it? Hmm. Hold up, let me see if I can find it. There was definitely a shell somewhere back there, right? See, at least I really hope so. Uh, let me drop down on this side. <laughs> there we go. Oh, it's like right underneath me here, somewhere. Uh, can I not place it here? There we go. Oh, but I cannot. Okay, in that case, let me do disconnect. Out of here. And then you can go down. There we go. Okay, that's more like it. And probably this is where it is. On the ground, B winds up the roll when it's fully extended. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey, and we got the shell. I knew there has to be a shell right here. That's why we gotta use the little guy. It's kinda like look around and uh, try to identify where we gotta go to next. And us is gonna listen to this. I'm actually gonna drink a little bit of water here. I'm getting thirsty of reading all these nodes.
Yeah, as I was saying, this tower was a blessing. They used to have so much water flowing through the tower. But for some reason, it stopped. It is so sad. They had toys and everything. They were really enjoying life. Huh. Okay. Oh, hold up. Look at that. I can actually really activate the plant and do a little bit of that. There we go. Alright, thankfully we did not miss a thing so far. And uh, I hope we're gonna be able to keep up the uh, the streak. I haven't found that. Dang it. I haven't found a note in a long time. So uh, I'm hoping that I did not miss any. I found some of the letters, of course, some of the Becca's uh, diary notes, but... These guys are so slow. These fellas are so slow. Okay, that's gonna take me to that side. These stairs are only taking me here. Oh, we got a note. To the person that left the caramel bun in the canteen, I ate it. Sorry, not sorry. There's no one around anymore, anyway. <laughs> huh. Uh, letters. Okay, so we did kind of miss something. That I'm gonna have to, um... Hopefully find. Ooh, one of these water towers that I can actually spin. Hold up, let me see if I can make my way to it. This is kind of like a storage house, right? Why are these guys so slow? <laughs> They're just so slow. Editorium. Brown or black fur. Big ears, prone to both uh, nervousness and laziness. There's nothing more common than a cuckoo. Too dull and unremarkable for a special issue, right? Wrong. In this issue of Gazette, we'll do our best to make the ordinary extraordinary, starting with the most un unobtrusive of beings, the cuckoos. These mammals are useful to us bipeds in two ways. They lay eggs and line their nests with fur, providing a delicious meals and dense balls of wool. Not the other way around. Raising them is no easy task, however. Cuckoos are escape artists. Through our actions, or rather inactions, they've taken to nesting all over the tower, though they've knitted to the high field region. Did you know cuckoos work together uh, to incubate their sparkling eggs and uh, watch over them over the young ones? Some will argue that taking turns makes for better naps. But take a closer look at what's in their nest, and you might be in for a surprise. Cuckoos love to sit on anything that shines. Keep reading for more fun facts about cuckoos in their habitats. Hmm. Uh, nope, that was not the letter that I have missed. I'm still missing this one somewhere. So I'm gonna have to uh, try to find it somehow. How do I make it to... This tower, though. That is my question. Sada, what's new? Any work for us? Orders are drawing up, and business at the uh, rope work is far too slow for the Light King. I'm starting to get bored. I brushed up on all the knots, and I've done uh, the accounting that I've been putting off the cycles, and I've dusted all the machines, but now we're stuck uh, twinkling our thumbs. Uh, we're not very good at doing nothing. Glad to know that there's still something left to do in the tower. Set away with the flow, just like everyone else. I don't really see what they're expecting to find in the desert. It's not like the sun's going to budge any more than uh, it does right now. No need for new robes, but you're welcome to come by whenever you like. Uh, you'll soon get used to doing nothing, you'll see. It suits us anyway. Uh, we have more time for each other now. Okay, and unfortunately that was also not one of the notes that I missed. 
Uh, by the looks of it, the nose that I missed is somewhere a little bit back, right? The, the way we came through. So I'm probably going to have to return a little bit in order to get... Uh, to find that note. Uh, but I did find a set of stones. Can activate. I don't know why, but I'm still uh, hoping for some sort of a special prize or something by uh, putting those stones up. Alright, and we are back up. Hmm. Now, how do I go to the temple, I wonder? I feel like this is kind of like the lock that's going to allow us to go inside the temple. Yeah, and can also see my little guy telling me that that is where I got to go. If I want to activate the water temple. I wonder if I got to go in there through the top, because through the bottom, I just haven't really seen an entrance. All right, anyway, uh, since I'm not sure exactly how to get in there, let me keep her going this way, I guess. I wish my little guy also told me where I can find some notes. Because I'm most definitely missing at least one. So many ways to explore. So many places to explore. Is there kind of like a ladder that I can hang on to, I wonder? Oh, I feel like I can hold on to those fellas. Yeah, and they might be able to uh, carry me. Alright, hold up. Let's do this again. Let's get more speed. Hey, look at that. Alright, that was awesome. <laughs> it's just so fun that I can hold on to these fellas. I love it. Oh, man. Oh, that guy is so slow. I gotta, I gotta hold on to a different one. There we go. So they kind of like slow down, right? That's what I'm seeing. I get it now. It's so cool. So freaking cool. <clears throat> Alright, rest up a little bit. Is this can I interact with this? My question is why? Place a secretary python anchors you if you fall. I mean I know that. Oh there we go. I gotta attach it here. Alright. So I guess what I got to do here... Let's go somewhere. Of course, I can easily go back to this area where I've been to before, where I was uh, guessing that I may have lost one of those notes. The thing is, I just didn't see any notes. To be honest. I'm not even sure what to say. Alright, uh... What was the point of climbing up here then? 
don't even know. Hmm. What was the point of this? Is this how I'm going to get on the other side, I wonder? Holy smokes! I'm going to go so far! It might be! Oh my god! <laughs> Getting so much speed with this! That is just awesome! Oh my god, that was so epic! Hey, we did it. There we go. That was really something, eh? Yeah, that was definitely the only way I would have made it to this side, for sure. Okay. Guess we're just about to do this again. And the weird thing about it is that now... Hold up, buddy. Uh, we're gonna be able to climb up here easily. Because we can now activate this. There we go. Alright. Uh, okay. No, I still did not manage to figure out how to go back down. At the temple there. Listen to your heart and follow your instincts. That's all I can tell you. Go if you must. I won't be going with you. My roots are here. I'm an old man. All I want is to stay on my land at peace with the world around me. Farewell. I wish you all the best. I'll go to the old tree for as long as I can, and I'll cherish your memory as my most prized possession. I'll be sad, but knowing that you're out somewhere will comfort me. A tiny plant growing in the deserts. Oh, Grandpa, I'm going to be too sad too. I already am. Mama says that I will be back when the sun wills it, but I don't believe it. The sun doesn't will it, because if it did, it wouldn't be stuffing everything in the house into flour sacks. I heard that the water in the desert steams and is stinking. That's what Tommy says. He's already been there to make sure that there was room for her animals, and she's going back with us. Unki says that you changed your mind. You know where to find us. We, He doesn't want to write to you. He... He says that you made Mama mad, and that I shouldn't be writing this. I love you, and I don't want to go, but I'm going, so bye, Grandpa. <laughs> yeah, I most definitely missed one somewhere, and I'm going to have to go back for it eventually. All right, let's have that one getting us higher. But as that one's going to get us higher, let me also make my wing side here. Still hoping to find a way to go down below. And I think this is the way to go down below. Yes, finally we got it. Okay. Hey, there we go. Finally, made it. Huh. It looks like I'm also going to be able to get out as well. Go to this side. Which is interesting. Let me just activate this one first of all. Man, I have a feeling these towers used to be absolutely full of water. Oh, 
Oh, this one's getting us all the way back to the tree. That is awesome. There we go. I'm still quite curious where I actually missed um, that previous letter. You know what? I'm, I'm just going to forget about it. <laughs> I don't want to think about it anymore. All right. This is going to take us even higher than that. Was there another path that I could have taken through here? Or am I mistaken? Uh, no, but I wanted to check up here to see if there are any notes. Nope. The answer is nothing. Okay. In that case, I think you gotta keep on climbing higher and higher. All right, we got an elevator that's gonna get us even higher than this. Uh, but first, what do we got on this side? Can I not jump over these ones? Hmm. Because I see a pile of stone over there that I want to get. Yeah, you can jump. As long as you place one of those things. You can definitely jump. There we go. Hey, stop making me fall. <laughs> Why are these things coming out of the ground? It is just so funny the way they make uh, the sounds. Love it. All right, we got a bunch of these critters. Oh my god, this is gonna be all about me climbing on top of these critters to make it to the top. And I think there might be a secret all the way up there as well. Yep, my crit is identifying it. So we are gonna have to go and get that one as well. Okay, cool. In that case, let's see what we can do here. The first one is getting slower and slower, so we gotta move on to this one next. That one on the left side went super high, but I wanna go towards the uh, secret. Are these not moving? These ones don't seem to want to move. Uh, you know what? Let me drop down a little bit here. Because I gotta do a little bit of that. There we go. Thank you very much, buddy. And now, I'm also gonna be able to- No, 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 what are you doing? Let's attach it here, right? Get it all back, attach it here. There we go, and now we can continue. Um, I'm getting close actually, I'm getting super close. Come on, buddy. Come on. Imagine he actually falls. Okay, perfect. I can hold on to both of them now. There you go, buddy. Take me higher. We're so close. Ugh. Hey, we made it. And I knew there's going to be something hiding up here. It's a shell. There used to be so much water flowing through the mountain. 
Like all the way down here, water was flowing through this cave. Are you kidding me? Whoa, wait, that is the sound of whales. What? 